Hello, dear little friends. Welcome to Dive into Pooja's Books. Today, in this special video, we are going to talk about the animals that live in a savanna or a grassland. What is a savanna? A savanna is a mixed woodland grassland ecosystem characterized by the trees being sufficiently widely spaced, which means the trees are away from each other so that the canopy does not close which means there is a lot of sunlight available. The open canopy allows sufficient light to reach the ground to support an unbroken herbaceous layer consisting primarily of grasses. So in short this means that savannas have, are full of grasses so it is mostly inhabited by the herbivores because they have enough to eat over there. So as we see in this picture, it's mostly in Africa, the grasslands of Africa or there are grasslands in America as well, savannas. So and if you see the animals which inhabit this area, they are mostly giraffe, zebra, elephant, hippo, rhino. All of these are herbivores. Plus. Of course, when there is a lot of herbivore inhibition, there will be some carnivores who will hunt for these herbivores like lions, leopards, cheetahs. So you can find these also there. Yug, you will have to tell me what all you know about the jungle animals. Which is the longest animal? Giraffe. Giraffe. So let's find out giraffe from here and take the longest animal giraffe in these grasslands of Africa. We have this lovely sticker of a giraffe. Can you put it high enough so that it can eat the, uh, eat the leaves? And see, you know why it is so tall? Because it can reach, it has to reach so high to eat the leaves. And that's why it has evolved its neck so high so that it can eat the leaves easily. And it is the tallest animal in the world. You know what? It is as tall as three men standing one above the other. <laughs> Giraffe. It lives mostly in Africa. It's a mammal. It is the tallest animal in the world. And yes, it's a herbivore. It's a mammal, which means it gives birth to little young ones and it stays pregnant for around 12 to 18 months, which is a lot. Do you know which is the largest Elephant! Land animal? Elephant! It is the largest land animal. It's very fat. It is very fat, yeah. But it's very strong. It is very strong also. And you know what? It is vegetarian. It is so fat and so strong, but it does not eat any meat. It's, it is vegetarian. Do you want to put an elephant over here? Elephant has such a long trunk, it has long ears. Some some have small ears. Yes, the Asian elephants have smaller ears than the African elephants. And the elephant is a very intelligent animal. If you give them paints, they can even do the painting. Elephant. It is also a mammal, it is the largest land animal and it is also a herbivore. Okay, what more do we know here? Uh, which is the stripy animal? The one which has stripes? Zebra. Zebra. It has black and white stripes. Zebras, they normally run in herds. So I have another friend of zebra here. You put the zebra, I'll put his friend. And you know, zebra. It is characterized by the white and black stripes 
and so it makes it looks so beautiful and handsome it is also a mammal it is from the horse family and it's a herbivore okay i have a in the water yeah the crocodile is an amphibian it can stay in the water as well as in the land you know what the crocodile it can grow back its teeth 50 times if his teeth fall it can grow it back again and again And which is the king of the jungle? Lion. Lion. It's the king of the jungle. Huh, you can put the lion if you want in the cave. All the animals are afraid of the ferocious lion. Lions. So as we have seen there are so many herbivores who live in the savanna or the grasslands. There is this lion who hunts for most of these herbivores. So, which makes it a carnivore and yes it's a mammal similarly cheetahs leopards they are also mammals wild cats okay which is the uh, what do you see here which is the uh, largest bird um, ostrich ostrich it is the largest bird largest bird in the world ostrich and the ostrich, they even lay the largest eggs. The ostrich, they can run very fast, but they cannot fly. They cannot fly. Even though they are birds, they cannot fly because they don't need to fly. They find everything that they eat on the land and hence why they never learn to fly. Uh, can you find hippopotamus for me? Here. No, here, here. There is a hippo near the crocodile in the water. Hippo. After rhino and elephant, it is the third largest land animal. It is also a mammal. It is mostly herbivore. Do you know its name comes from the Greek word for river horse? or Daryai Ghoda in Hindi. We have a rhinoceros also. The rhinoceros, it, the rhinoceros, it has a horn here. Do you see the horn? Where is the horn? <laughs> yeah, it looks nice, isn't it? Yeah. Rhino. Rhinoceros, its name comes again from Greek for nose horned. So at, as you might have noticed, it has one or two horns on its nose. It is mostly hunted to, for its horns. It's a herbivore. It's the second largest land animal and it has small brain compared to such a big body. Uh, what more do we have? We have a gazelle. Can you find the gazelle? Yeah, it looks so beautiful and it also runs very fast. Yeah, because it hops. It hops, yeah. Galloping gazelle. So, this is the galloping gazelle. I think I will put it here. And you know what? These leopards, they run very fast and they try to catch the gazelle. Maybe you, we can put the... Uh, we can put the leopard trying to catch the gazelle. Oh, see, so fast it is trying to run, such high leaps it takes and tries to catch. The poor gazelle has to run away. She gets scared, isn't it? Where do we put the snake? That's the sound of the snake. Yeah. Or, or we can put it in the trees also. Sometimes they hide in the trees like this. They coil their body in the trees. You know what? Sometimes people they go on a safari to see the jungle animals in jeeps like this. 
So you can put this jeep here. Maybe people are going on a safari to see all the jungle animals. It will be so fun to see all the animals in real to go on a safari, isn't it, Yuk? <laughs> yeah, you know what? So these giraffe, they are so tall. So it's very difficult for them to drink water. See, they have to go like this in their legs to drink the water. See, this one is drinking the water. It has to go down like this to drink the water. And this was a fun sticker activity. High five! Oh, it's so strong like the jungle animals. <laughs>